what's up my people welcome back to the channel subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and click that tap bell icon to get notified when there's anything new on the channel so like up the video people you know what i mean that's all my ask so as usual i have some things i'm gonna share with you guys and we just have to get right tonight right so we are going to start on beachy stout can you know film trail are going and uh, every day there's a new update so may i keep you guys up to date because a lot of things are revealed you see me i say a whole heap of witness them have and the witness them are tell them story you know what i mean so we are going to move into Witness described Beachy Stout as a jealous and paranoid husband. The prosecution first witness in the MURDER trial of Everton Beachy Stout McDonald has painted a picture of a jealous husband who believed his wife was using his money to support her extramarital affairs. The Portland businessman and his co accused Oscar Barnes are on trial for the 2020. M-U-R-D-E-R -E of his second wife, Tonya McDonald. The witness, who was, former, who was a former employee of McDonald, told courtroom 2 in the home circuit court that Beachy Stout would often send him to spy on his wife's movement and often accuse her of disgracing his name and having multiple men. The witness stutter as he described how his former boss would often send him to uh, verify his wife's location. The witness told the court Beachy Stout became increasingly angry with what he said was his ex-wife poor business and hygiene habits. The witness alleged Beachy Stout frequently described his wife as lazy and nasty. The popular businessman is also alleged to have accused Tony McDonald of stealing from his business in an effort to support her affair. He said to he said to have described her behavior as careless girl things. Over time, the accusation of infidelity took a dark turn. The witness told the court that as Beachy Stout became more convinced his wife was cheating on him, his outbursts became angrier and his accusations against his wife became more severe. In one in one in, in one instant in <coughs> sorry, in one instance, the witness says Beachy Stout asked him why she not stop take up all kind of man man beachy stout is alleged to have asked the witness on another occasion you did know tony did a, um you did know tony there with a the police the witness says the popular businessman accused his wife of taking money from his business to support the policeman who she's alleged to have been having an affair with the court heard evidence beachy stout allegedly showed the witness and another employee pictures you remember the picture we me telling about where she not on her garments where she has she with the policeman all right employee photographs of Tonya mcdonald beach stout is alleged to have remarked you see them disgrace here she skin out like dog the employees were also alleged allegedly shown photos of Tonya mcdonald drinking from a glass with the policeman the businessman is said to have remarked adam expletive in cause a bad word yashi i do i spend half my money a mine police boy the witness then relayed a 2020 incident where beachy stout sent him to purchase acid which he alleges the businessman intend to get someone to use and the policeman who was said to be sleeping with his wife the witness told the court the acid was purchased after beachy stout alleged original plan to shoot the policeman was reported to law enforcement so beachy stout planned for dash with the policeman 
but I guess somebody got go report it. You know what I mean? So him scrapped that the plan there and devised a new plan. The witness eyes welled with tears as he relayed that Beachy Store told him he intend to use the acid to do it, to deal with fi him face after me done deal with fear case the witness alleges seen so me no know him did i go do with the woman maybe use the acid pan her and then go use it pan the policeman Chaja. the witness alleges the businessman used the acid on himself to test it to test its potency and then remark at the real deal this man me I go see who can hurt who more. Tonya McDonald's partially bun body was found with her throat ray 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 in Sherwood Forest Portland. Her car had been set on fire. So people, the whole marriage was toxic. It was toxic. And it looked like said the woman no want to leave because of the money. And him no want to leave her because him love her. You see me I say? So, see him end up take her three points allegedly. You know what I mean? And that is how the story ends. The relationship part. I know what the consequence part now. Right? So, we are going to move on, people. <coughs> so, M U R D E R accused lose freedom after breaching bail terms. Two St. James men who have been accused of M U R D E R were on Tuesday remand in custody until next March after they breaches their bail conditions. Investigators said the Saint this said that Saint Abin Winter and Antoana Strachan, who are before the St. James Circuit Court, were arrested after they were seen outside of their premises during a time when they should have been indoors. <coughs> the men are before the St. James Circuit Court for a conspiracy to dash with somebody and also for dash with somebody. Their bail conditions stipulate that they are to reside in Kingston and abide by a curfew order which require them to be inside their homes from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. On Tuesday, winter, a 29-year-old disc jock of Campbell Lane, Mount Salem, said in, the, said in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court that they were going to collect food. Barrel come with bags of food for us, so we did a try get them. We apologize for that, he told senior Paris judge Lorian Cole Montecue. However, his explanation was contradicted by the investigator who told the court that the men, when accosted, told the police that they were going to a party. So whenever you hear, say, hear the police them say, something like that, be silent, or whatever you use, maybe, or whatever you say, may use me again in the last quarter re, re, re. so yeah them are them at them tell the police them say them are got a party no after them plan up them story them are tell the judge something different but never know say the police are going to counteract where them say right the judge then decided to remind the men in custody until march 5th 2024 and are to be brought to the St. James Circuit Court on that occasion. What you have said to me, it is not sufficient to justify being out. This is serious. You are charged for M-U-R-D-E-R, the most serious offense that I can think of. So because it is so uh, serious and you are on condition for bail, you must adhere very strictly. Hmm... I am going to remind you further, but I need you to understand and realize that you are remanded based on your own doing. The bill, the bill acts speak 
to scenarios like this, Cole Montague said, the men are accused of S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G to D-E-A-T-H, 27-year-old Ronald Simit, otherwise called Reds, of Willoway, um, catching Mountain St. James on December 28, 2021. So like the judge said, reason why them get remanded at their own doing of them cast upon themselves them do it to themselves right because if them did abide by the stipulations they would have still that road so <coughs> moving on people me tell you to say yo anybody we are involved themselves in a scamming them just want to get locked up because there is so much way for them get wool on pan. So here we are going over in a St. Thomas, you know, people. Two St. Thomas men charged for lottery scamming, third in custody. So a three of them get wool on pan. Two men have been arrested and charged following a pre dawn operation by the lottery scam task force in Ginger Hall, Bath, St. Thomas this morning. Charged with possession of identity information are 28-year-old Sopmanida, when named Leachin, right? They call him Leachin. And 33-year-old Sean McDowell, otherwise called Subaru, both of Ginger Hall. A third man who was also arrested is in custody awaiting questioning. The police report that between 4 a.m. and 9 a.m., Three premises were searched and identity information for persons residing overseas was found on cell phones and laptops belonging to Dixon and McDowell. Three IN vehicles were also seized. Dixon and McDowell's court date has not been finalized. So people, I think them, them, them take about two crown and a market, something like that. Power record them gone. You see me? So, you spread the bed you lay down in the night, man. Just like how you spread it. You see me, I say? So, the latter scam thing, people, right now, it outdated. Because, them just a whole people every minute. Hold them from left to right. Because people wise up, you know, people know about it. You understand? I know like one time when nobody never did know about it and social media never so prevalent for things that spread. You know what I mean? Yeah, seed on social media. So everybody know about this. So you know what I mean? If you catch two people, chances are you're not gonna catch the third. You know what I mean? They might go all on for you before you because they have a lottery scamming task force. Them have a task force if we, if we, if we track them down and hold on upon them. Back in the days, a couple years ago, well, about maybe, let me see, maybe about 14, 15 years or more. One of my brethren get wall, so you know what I mean? Them scam him, say them have a game, car, one bag or something. See? And I'll know the car can reach people. See a floor. A fl- them time they did name cable and wireless, I think. Say boy, just because him put money on him phone and re re re. So people, may I tell you no. Anybody want to involve themselves in a lot of scamming, them just want to get locked up. You see me? That's all me can say. Let me know what you think in the comments, people. And please and thanks, just like up the live for me. You see me? Yeah. So we are going to move on here now to a double knockings. We are going in a Westmoreland. Right? Two more men, K I L L, in reported confrontation with Westmoreland cops. <coughs> Two men were SHOT and them drop out during a reported GUN fight with the police in Westmoreland on Wednesday, bringing the 
bringing to three the number of men KILL doing confrontations with police in the parish since the start of the week. The deceased, all of Westmoreland addresses, have been identified as Submanida Dawkins and Dean Woolery, both of Spring Garden and 33 year old Randall Reed, otherwise called whatever, and of Anchovy District, Whiteon. Reports are that shortly after noon on Wednesday, the police were on an operation in Spring, um, Spring Garden when Dawkins and Woolery were SHOT and KILL during a confrontation. Two machines were reportedly seized during the operation. On Sunday, Reed was fatally SHOT during a reported confrontation with the police on the White and Main Road. A Glock pistol with a magazine containing 8-9mm rounds was reportedly seized at the scene during the incident. The Inspectorate and Professional Standard Oversight Bureau, IPROBE, and the Independent Commission of Investigation, INDICOM, are investigating both incidents. So, I don't know people, INDICOM have to do them job, you know what I mean? They must investigate every single police shooting. You know what I mean? Fe see if them act in the confine Adela. You understand? And we are gonna move over to Medicano people, the female artists that have been missing for like about a month now right so them just release some information i may go share that uh with you guys right so it's like them i do them look uh, the police them i do them look uh, um investigation and right now let me just jump right tonight Medic cell phone ping cell tower in Linstead, police said. Criminal investigators have revealed that the cell phone owned by Stephanie Medic Williams last ping a cell tower in Linstead, St. Catherine, not long after her disappearance over a month ago. The police are following up on leads in Linstead, but there is no concrete proof of anything yet. We are also trying to get information on the vehicle that came to pick her up from her apartment, but there is nothing yet. No leads, a police source told our news team. Today, September 28th, marks the fifth week since the dancehall artist uh, uh, was reported missing to the authorities. Today is my birthday as well, and I have to admit that it is so sad. I am not eating. I am I am trying my best to keep up. This week was supposed to be a celebration. The 8th of October is Stephanie's birthday. We were planning a trip for us, my daughters, we, um, the whole family. But this season has turned into something else. Business woman Millicent McCurdy, the mother of dancehall artist, said, McCurdy said she has had dialogue with the police since leading a protest at the Kansan Spring Police Station earlier this week. After the protest, the police reached out to me. I am grateful for that. And other police have told me that they would, they would um, call me next week with updates. I want to thank the Church of God in St. John's Road, Spanish Town, and the Church of God in Jamaica and Westmoreland my own church who have been here with me there are pastors from the church of god all over jamaica who have been calling me to offer support so i am grateful for the support mccurdy said according to the police 29 year old stephanie williams was last seen wearing a black blouse black tights 
and a pair of black shoes she is of brown complexion slim built and is about 5 feet 7 inches tall anyone with information can call 311 and if the information leads to her safe return they will have access to a million dollars reward the problem is that i have not seen crime stop posting the reward so that we can get any possible information about about our whereabouts they need to do that but i haven't called them i just don't have the strength to do everything she said medic is best known for songs such as money feelings and her growing catalog of collaborations such as overcome featuring shano and boss level featuring javelani Ma um, however mccurdy said that her daughter was more than just a dancehall artist as she was a successful entrepreneur as well with a brand of holistics product available at pharmacies all over jamaica people this is sad you know what i mean other this she had a what the third um female like social media personality we get thing you know what i mean get dirt or whatever you understand you have dana lee you have slickyana them fine for your body door i know you have she you see me i say so you don't know if you say people if you have any information you know what i mean you know the police number 119 or 911 911 jamaica jamaica 911 yeah and give some information so let me know what you guys think so people like up the video please and thanks and we are go over in a greenwich town you know where them say a car note go on you know what i mean and a man get him three point stick seen man k i l l during alleged car note in greenwich town <coughs> one man is gone following an alleged car note between gu and men in greenwich town on thursday morning According to the Jamaica Constabulary Force Corporate Communications Unit, the incident took place along East Avenue and 8th Street in the community sometime after 9 this morning. The victim has not yet been identified. The police are advising the public that the area has been carded on off to facilitate the processing of the scene. Motorists are being asked to use alternative routes so from this morning these people so the road may be clear up by now you know what i mean so you can drive um through the area now right so boy people them see arrivals a car out with each other one person get caught and drop out you know what i mean and some of them things are go on people may i tell you you know what i mean you would say a fool in the man them in a war over. You understand what I say? Sometimes it come from something simple. Sometimes a turf the man them a war over. You see what I say? So, people, let me give you an update upon the beach stored ongoings what go on today. So, right now, the trial it a panalico you know what i mean them say it's tall today due to absent juries so boy me not lie this a case here it have a jury problem i just the other day them get a new set of jury and now jury problem again so guys subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and give me a thumbs up and yeah click the top bell icon to get notified when anything new is on the channel so do that for me please and thanks and bless upon yourself i'm gonna end right now thanks for watching